On this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly, cheerleading and a national award. All of this and more coming up next. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Kyle Furson. One teacher earned an award for her love and devotion towards writing. Riley takes a look into the story. Mrs. Schneider, an English teacher and director of literary magazine here at Niqua, won the Maya Angelou Poetry Award in which she received at the NCTE annual convention two weeks ago in Atlanta, Georgia. I wrote a grant and I received the first inaugural year of the Maya Angelou Poetry Award, and it's $10,000 and that doesn't go into my personal account, it comes to the school. $7,500 or so will be going toward a publication of a poetry collection of student poetry. In order to qualify for the award, Mrs. Schneider needed two letters of recommendation, her resume, a timeline, a budget, and an idea of what she would do with the grant. Students can submit their poetry to the essence at IPSD.org. Any poems that are submitted will be into consideration for the poetry collection that we'll publish. And then English teachers and other teachers may be signing their classes up to bring them during April to the poetry events all month. There will be a variety of options, coffee houses and everything. One last congratulations to Mrs. Schneider. We are looking forward to all the wonderful events you and others are providing for Poetry Month in April. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Riley Senko. Vaishnavi looks into what the boys cross country team hopes for as they go off to nationals. And now, our champion team here in the Midwest, Nike Cross Regionals, no excuses, no limits, Naperville South, 88 points. After being one of the top two teams in the Midwest Regionals, the boys cross country team prepares to compete at nationals in Portland, Oregon. The team's goals were to run as fast as we could at the right time and you know uh, wherever the times and places came out to be that's the way it was going to be. Uh, we don't really f focus on other teams we always just focus on ourselves and try to peak at the right time and, and this year we did that and we really came together at the end uh, for a common good and, and the guys uh, really have bonded and have done well together. From the beginning of the summer to now, the team has been working hard to achieve their goal at Nationals. With the results we've seen so far, this goal may be achievable. I think we have a really good shot of being a trophy team. That means top three. Uh, we're currently ranked third in the country, and I think these guys even have a shot of winning it all. Good luck to the boys cross country team as they compete on December 3rd in Portland, Oregon. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Vaishnavi Kalyan. The girls basketball season is coming up. Eden takes a look at this year's team. Come on, basketball season has returned. The girls' basketball season is underway. The team is looking very strong this year, and the girls that make up the team this season is a team that all coaches will love to coach. This year's team is even keel. Uh, they're, they're a multi multitude of talent, and they all attribute something differently, and that's what's really unique about this group. Uh, and that's what I, we, we love as a coaching staff about this group is that any given night, uh, it's going to be different players, and it's pretty well balanced, so it's going to be pretty tough to defend us. As a very new and young team with only two seniors, the strength of the team comes from building the strong bonds they are building as teammates on and off the court. We really love each other, and we have so much fun, and that shows on the bench and um, on the court. It really starts from the last man, and it goes till the first man. Whenever we all connect together, it really makes a difference on the court. Always with a new team, there's different goals. And with this year's team, their goals are specific with the individuals themselves. Actually, our only goal is to come together as a team. That's all. And to have fun. Uh, it's a whole new group of kids. We graduate a lot of people. And uh, we're at a point right now where we're just trying to find each other and, and coexist uh, in, a, in an environment uh, that's positive and exciting. That's all. Good luck to the girls as they progress through their season. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Eden Kosova. Avery finds out what it takes to be a Nico cheerleader. When you watch Nico, you're watching perfection on top of the podium. Hey, hey, Nico's varsity cheer team is preparing for the upcoming competition season. 
at the beginning of the year, we're given a two minute and 30 second routine. So then throughout the week, we basically break that down over the days. So we have a stunting portion, a tumbling portion, pyramid dance. So most days we'll always do a stunt routine. Um, other days we do like full out tumbling, full out jumps, all of it combined. And then at the end of the week, it's like full on that we do everything like multiple times. The team says it's the person next to them that keeps them motivated throughout the year. Um, this year we have really good team chemistry, like everybody gets along really well. Um, I think everybody has the same goal. I think in past years people were more focused than others, but this year I feel like it's all 24 of us feel that way. The girls are so dedicated and they work outside of mandatory practice, always trying to improve together. Our season is like one of the longest seasons at Niqua, so we go fall to spring like leading and then we work all throughout summer so to prepare for the season we do CrossFit as a team and also uh, team runs outside of practice. Good luck to the cheer team as they take on the competition season and for Wildcat Weekly I'm Avery Champion. After much wait Wildcats we are proud to present the continuation of Aaron's class tips. Well hold on a minute buddy don't you get too eager because you gotta follow a couple rules first on this week's edition of Aaron's Class Tips. Now I know, Dylan, you're a little excited to, you know, park here at Neek One and all, but uh, there are a couple things you need to be aware of. Like, I understand that Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles is a it's a hit after all, but uh, nobody wants to hear that at 7.20 in the morning, so uh, make sure to turn that off. Oh, Vanessa's my fave, but I'm just going to have to wait. But what am I doing about parking? Ah, well, you see, Dylan, parking is a bit of a struggle here. Uh, as you can see, the, the spots are pretty limited. Uh, so my best advice would be to come early, but if you realize that that's definitely not going to happen, then... Uh, I don't know, I'd say cut off as many people as you possibly can to get your spot. Now Dylan, when you're here in the Nequa parking lot, it is important to be safe in everything that you do. And most importantly, if you're gonna hit people with your car, make sure it's in video games. Now do you understand all that, Dylan? I wouldn't know what to do without you, Aaron. That's why I'm here, buddy. Anyways, have a good one. I gotta go do a thing. Okay. <laughs> Even though this was all in good fun, Wildcats, it is important to always be safe when you're driving at Niqua or anywhere else. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Aaron Klein. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Have a great weekend, Wildcats.